In today's video, let's learn how to make this amazing sliding animation in Canva. Let's get started. We'll begin by opening a blank presentation page and we'll start importing some images into this. The first thing I'll do is import a video I found in Canva. So I'll just drag it onto our workspace. I'll double click on the video, which will take me to the crop options. And over there, I'll ensure it's cropped to 16 by 9. Then I'll make it really small. After this, I'll go over to my projects and I'll bring in a few images that I downloaded from Pexels. So let's drag this image in. Let's double click on it as well and ensure it's in 16 by 9. Let's align it to the previous video and let's drag it and make it really small again. Let's do the same thing for the rest of the images that we want. Once we've added all the images, let's select all of them. Let's go over to position and let's make sure they're all aligned equally. So we can even click on tidy up and that should ensure everything is in alignment. Let's go ahead and group all these images. Let's leave this slide for now. Let's open a new slide. Let's bring in the rest of our assets. So we'll be using the PNG of this man over here. Let's leave it there. Let's open yet another slide. Let's bring in one of the images that we added. Let's maximize it to fit the slide. Let's bring this man over here into slide number three. And let's see where we want to place it. So say we want to align him completely in the center of the slide. This will work as a basis for us to know exactly where our text is also going to go. Before we add the text, let's add an overlay element that will be static throughout the slides. So let's go over to elements. Let's draw a line. Let's rotate it. And let's bring it over to the side. From our elements, let's grab in a graphic that we'll use as a logo. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of text. So let's go over to our text options and I'll just grab this default text that Canva provides us. I'll ungroup it. I'll grab the lower part and I'll rotate it. Raise the font size a bit. Maybe center align it and let's take it over here. This will be a part of our static overlay. Next, we'll edit the text. So I'll grab this and use this as the headline. I'll just change the text within the box. Let's adjust the font size so it matches our design. And on the right side, we'll add a little bit of Laura Mipsum text. Now that we've organized the text, we can even move the manner around a bit so that everything looks spaced quite well. Now, having designed this slide, we have a good idea of where all the elements need to come in. Let's select all the overlay elements that we've created and group them. We'll be pasting this on to our final slides later. Our next step is to select both our text boxes and also group them together. Then let's copy them and let's take them over to a new slide. Paste them. Let's adjust this to the top and let's drag it and make it really small. Let's create about five copies of this, the same number of visuals that we have. So you can press Alt and just simply drag the box and that will create a copy. 
So now we have five copies. I'll just change the text in each box to correspond with the slide number. Having done that, let's select all our groups. Let's go over to position and let's make sure everything is aligned. We'll increase the spacing between this text a little more. So once again, let's click on tidy up and that should equally align everything. Let's go ahead and group all these boxes once again. Now that we've organized all the elements that we'll be using in this, let's start setting them up. Let's go over to a new slide. Let's grab this group that we created earlier. Let's bring it onto a new slide, paste it. Make your workspace a lot smaller and then start resizing everything. So we'll drag it until the image fits the slide. Let's click on position and say left. So now only the video is visible, but we can see a little bit of a line. That means we need to increase the size slightly more and then click on left align again. Now, if we see this in full screen, just the video is visible. Let's right click on this and duplicate it. And then let's slide it over until the second image is visible. Let's duplicate it once again and make the third image visible. Once again for the fourth image. And finally for the fifth image. For the fifth image, again, we can just click on align right and that should automatically bring us to the final image. So now we've aligned all our images in these five slides. Let's go over to slide number three and grab the man we placed and then place him in the slides. Depending on the type of images we're using, you may see the placement of the man doesn't really fit well. So you may have to play around with this and then adjust it throughout all the slides. For example, on this image, let's move this man a little further down. Then we'll have to copy it again and replace him throughout the slides. This will take a little bit of trial and error to get just right. And you may find that you have to replace one of the background images to make it fit just right. So once we have this man placed the way we want him to, let's go over to slide three, where we created this overlay. Let's copy it and let's paste it onto our final slides. Then having done that, it's time to bring in our text. So let's go to slide four, where we created this group text box. Let's grab it. Let's copy it and paste it onto first slide five. We'll do the same thing of resizing the groups as we did with the images. So we'll make our workspace smaller and then we'll resize the text. Having placed it on the first slide, we can even bring in some guides to mark the placement of the text exactly. And once you draw these guides, they should appear automatically on the rest of your slides. So now let's go ahead and copy this group and let's paste it onto the next slide and simply drag it up until the second text appears. Let's ensure that when we drag it up, the second text fits the guides as well. And then we can go ahead and replicate this on the remaining slides.
Let's take a look and see if that works. The key knight might notice that the text is jumping slightly. So we'll have to go back and make sure that it matches our guides exactly. The final step to the slider animation is now to add movement between the slides. So let's select the five slides that we've created. You can press shift and select all the slides. Then take your cursor between the slides and this add transition button pops up. So click on it, go over to match and move. Increase the duration to about one second or if you'd like the movement to be slower, you can increase it even more. For now, let's keep it at 1.5. You can click on apply between all pages. Let's go over to this. Let's go to full screen and see how that looks. So as you can see, the images are moving in from the right and the text is scrolling from bottom to top. And there you have it folks. That's how you can create this really cool sliding animation in Canva. And if you'd like to try out this template for yourself, you can grab it from my website for only a few bucks. And you'll also receive the PowerPoint template for the same. So check it out. And if you'd like to see a lot more parallax magic, check out our amazing parallax template with over a hundred unique animations. You'll find the link for all of this in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.